What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp plugin overview for you today. So as most of you know, uh, now one of the perks on my Patreon page is the ability to vote on the extension of the week that I'm going to cover in these Thursday videos. So uh, this week everyone voted and uh, the winner and the extension we're going to cover this week allows you to create real animations in SketchUp. And uh, if you do want to support on Patreon and have the ability to uh, vote on my extensions every week and also to uh, download all of the models that I work from, that sort of thing, make sure you check that out at the link in the notes below. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, animator. Plugin developer, Fredo6. How much does it cost? It's free. Please make sure to donate to your developer. Where do you get it? You can download this extension from the Sketchcation extension store. Please note that you're also going to have to download Fredo6's free um, extension library pro program, Libfredo, from Sketchcation as well. Tool functions. SketchUp has always had the ability to create animations by moving your camera around. However, it never really had any functionality included to animate the movement of geometry. There's been some extensions in the past that have kind of added that. I believe keyframe animation was one of them. But you've never had anything that was like a comprehensive, like complete animation extension that allowed you to animate whatever you wanted to do. So Fredo 6 has gone in and created an extension that allows you to generate animations with moving geometry as well as moving cameras. Um, and the way that works is he built his own animation menu framework that opens up when you open the extension. On the left hand side of the screen you have a timeline toolbar that allows you to add different movements and animations to geometry as well as editing the time frame of the animation. At the top of the screen you have a menu that allows you to add things like new clips and scenes as well as the ability to add different animations animations to your timeline. Um, and you can set more than one animation on an object at once so you can do things like creating rolling wheels or moving construction equipment or just about anything else that you can think of. And uh, you can tell by looking at it, the user interface is a little bit intimidating. Once you use it a little bit and you start figuring it out, it's actually pretty easy to use. Um, I would say it's probably not any more complicated than anything else you would use in the industry to create animations. So um, it's definitely a nice thing to be able to add to your models. So in addition, once you've created your animation, you can export to video files, as well as having compatibility with several different rendering softwares. So Animator has compatibilities with uh, rendering softwares like SketchFX, TheaRender, Ambient Occlusion, and it may have some more compatibilities on that as well. It's got the ability to do everything from movement along paths, to adjusting the scale, to adjusting the visibilities and the styles, and all of those different things in your model. So it's a very full featured extension, especially considering how limited animations have been in the past in SketchUp. So like I said before, the user interface is a little bit intimidating, but once you get an idea of how it works, you can generate great results and it has a lot of features included. That's where I'm going to wrap up today's extension overview. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Um, as always, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Um, that allows me to go out and get new extensions and kind of expand the show. So um, make sure you visit that link in the notes below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.